Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a Red Sox versus Astros as the Red Sox go down there in Houston to try to fend off elimination led by Nathan Evaldi. Game preview, the Game 6 preview. Of course, if you like the content, please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget at the end. Of course, this game starts soon in about 45 minutes, so let's get right into it. Nathan Evaldi, of course, when it comes to the playoffs, including the game against the Yanks in that wild card game. He pitched in that game five and a third innings really good. Then he pitched five innings, and then he pitched five and a third innings again. The five-inning game, of course, was against Tampa. That he still started really well. Then he started a very good game pitching five and a third against Houston. His only bugaboo was on Tuesday out of the bullpen, of which he hasn't pitched out of a lot in a lot of succession lately, so it makes perfect sense to me when it's a completely different asset and a completely different aspect of the game that he struggled a little bit in that aspect, even though he's had success with it in the past, because he just hasn't done it that much lately. That doesn't deter my confidence away from Evaldi whatsoever when it comes to starting. He's been kicking butt as a starter, been stepping up again in the playoffs, and he is the guy you would want to have on the mound. Um, in this situation in order to try to fend off elimination. He's been the guy because of Chris Sale's injury this season, of course, that has stepped up all season for Boston and has been able to get them W's at the most important times of the season. And this is, of course, that again, as the Red Sox try to fend off elimination tonight in Houston. So they have to win this game in order to go back and, of or not, not to go back. And then the last game would also be in Houston if necessary on Fox tomorrow at 8.08. So obviously they made this series a lot harder for themselves. Now they have to win back-to-back games in Houston to be able to win it. And of course, last game, they dropped a pretty good outing actually, kind of as Joe Buck said on the telecast. I know everyone isn't the biggest fan of Joe Buck, but he was right about this. And I don't mind him. I read his uh, book and I thought it was actually pretty good. But five and a third innings, two runs, and then four or three hits, and then four runs, but two were only earned, so the others aren't on sale. Sale actually looked pretty solid in that game. The bullpen came in, of course, and that was good in the last series, and then hasn't looked as squeaky clean, obviously, in this series, losing game 9-2, and then 9-1. to one. So the Red Sox, just like the Dodgers had last night, where they finally looked like the Dodgers again in this series after getting destroyed by the Braves for a couple there, need to have that same energy. They need to try to bring that same energy. Obviously, I don't think we're going to win 11-2 to two, like the, the Dodgers did against the Braves yesterday over the Astros, especially because the Dodgers were in L.A., they were in La La Land, where the Red Sox now have to play on the road against this Astros team in order to try to get it done, so they made it harder for themselves from here on out, but I believe they can still get it done and have a good chance, especially if Evaldi's able to get it done tonight, and then I would have to assume you're going to probably give the start to Erod tomorrow and then see how long he's going to be able to go, because obviously you won't throw Sale again, I don't think, even though he looked good from Wednesday, or Tuesday, excuse me, through a Saturday, so I don't think you would end up, or no, that was Wednesday, yeah, say it was the Wednesday starter through a Saturday, so I don't think you would throw him again, because that would just be setting up for injury, but you definitely could try to throw Erod out there, hopefully he's able to have a good outing, and then we're able to kind of build off of that, have the offense going, because obviously that's the big key, the offense, along with the pitching struggling, and the bullpen not being the same as it was in the previous series, including the uh, wild card game against the Yanks, um, it it's just also the offense went stalled. You lost 9-1 and 9-2. You can't have that in the playoffs. They have to have bounce back. They have to have spunk, and just like the Dodgers showed last night, and have to have a player just like Chris Sale, Chris Saylor, Chris Taylor did for the Dodgers last night, just step up and kind of take the team by his bootstraps and carry the team over the promised land tonight to be able to extend it to game seven and then hopefully strike lightning in a bottle and get a good start from someone else that's not Evoldi or Chris Sale who had a solid start in his last outing. The team just couldn't pick him up. So let's, as we wrap up this video, go into the preview of the lineups. Of course, we have Nathan Evoldi going against Luis Garcia, who has been struggling in his uh, early postseason 0-1-2, 24.55 in his early postseason career for him. Uh, the Red Sox are, of course, going to have first baseman Kyle Schwarber lead off. Enrique Hernandez is going to bat second to great Kike Hernandez. Rafael Devers is going to hit third, who's having a killer playoffs. Five home runs, 12 RBIs. Bogarts is hitting fourth. He's the guy 
that I really want to see again. Look what he was able to do when he was fueling the offense early in this postseason. If he gets churning again, along with Devers obviously being hot as a firecracker, Kike doing his thing, then we're going to be set. If he's the guy that kind of picks it up like Chris Taylor, he's kind of my key player to the game that I look to to see to be able to have that huge game just like Taylor did for the Dodgers. JD's doing his thing batting fifth at DH. And then you have left fielder Alex Verdugo batting sixth. sixth. Christian Arroyo playing second, batting seventh. Hunter Renfro, eighth at right field. And then Kevin Plawecki, who of course catches Nathan Evaldi, batting ninth. So you'll probably see Christian Vasquez get subbed in later in the game. You have second baseman Jose Altuve, first for the Astros. Left fielder Brantley, second. Third baseman Bregman, third. D.H. Jordan Alvarez, the killer. He's obviously the key to stopping for Nathan Evaldi and the bullpen. Obviously, the Astros have much more keys but he was obviously a huge guy that just kept damning them in Fenway and was able to just keep getting hits down the line, keep pulling them. He was just a menace to society. That's why he has a 367 average. Carlos Correa at shortstop, another key to stop. And then you got Kyle Tucker in right field batting six. Yuli Goyal seventh at first base. Chaz McCormick still in center field. Um, he's going to be eighth, and then Martin Maldonado, their catcher, their defensive wizard, is going to be batting ninth. So those are the lineups for tonight against Nathan Evaldi and Luis Garcia. Again, the Red Sox need to have the Evaldi we've seen in his starting outings, and I still have confidence we're going to be able to see that because he hasn't pitched as a reliever in a wee bit, and he struggled as that, so that's fine. He's going to move on from that. He's going to bounce back as a starter. He's had good outings against the Rays already, the Yankees, and, of course, the Astros in this postseason. Now we want to see him do it again against the Astros in the starting role and fend off elimination and push it on to whoever we're going to give the ball to tomorrow to try to fend off elimination at that point and actually win the series in game seven the Red Sox made it a hard road for themselves but it's not an impossible road to get the win with Evaldi tonight and then go from there this has been a preview to game six of the ALCS between the Boston Red Sox and Houston that will take place of course at Minute Maid Park tonight starting at 8.08 p.m. I believe is the actual start time subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget if you enjoy the content peace out everybody and go Red Sox